Hi there, Aquarius, and welcome back to Star Lotus Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of October 2020. Happy October to you. Um, I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. In the new format, we're going week by week with an overall energy. I'll show you your cards that have been laid out on the table for you here, Aquarius. This is your spread. Um, okay, let's get to your reading which we will be taking week by week. i just got to adjust the camera. <laughs> so, for your overall energy, Aquarius, you have the Aquarius card. <laughs> Beautiful. The star in the upright position. This is feeling, um, this is really good because you could be feeling very optimistic this month, Sagittarius. This is about feeling really good, feeling really hopeful. The star is also very much uh, healing energy as well as it is the Major Arcana's um, wish card. So wish upon a star here. Aquarius, you're coming up in your own reading in the upright position. You're on the right track. Whatever it is you're doing, you're doing, you're doing it well. <laughs> in the first week here, Sagittarius, we have the Knight of Wands rooted down by the Hanged Man in the upright position. Interesting combination. The Knight of Wands, this is uh, Quicksilver, known as Pajama Man, but it doesn't look like Pajama Man in this deck, so uh, I don't think he's acting like a Pajama Man. He's just coming in very quickly. Could be an offer coming towards you, uh, Sagittarius. Those of you who are single and looking, this could be a new uh, partner. This is a, uh, fire energy, that of Aries Leo Sag. It could be a fire sign. It is hot on pursuit of you, Sag. Um, for others of you, this could be an offer coming in. If you have something up for sale, you're trying to sell something, good news uh, on that front. For others of you, this could be an offer of uh, travel, it could be an offer of job, uh, career, new career or something. But it's interesting having it hang, um, root it down with a hanged man. So this is like, this is an offer that's coming towards you, but maybe you have to wait for it. Because that's what the hangman is in the upright position. This is all about needing to look at a situation from a different perspective. Maybe for some of you, there's somebody quickly coming into your life, Sagittarius, and you need to hang back and look at it and go, whoa, I don't know if I want to go down this road. Could be for some of you. For others of you, maybe you get news that an offer will be coming towards you, but it's an offer you have to wait for. Or it could be an offer is coming in, sort of comes in out of a left left field kind of offer. And you're not really sure what you think of it. And maybe that's why you're looking at it from a different perspective, trying to gauge. It seems like whatever this offer is that's coming in, it's something you feel you need to think about. Or it's like you get word that something is coming in, but you have to wait for it. Or maybe with the star energy, you're hopeful and you can sense something coming around the corner. But again, you know you have to wait for it. Interesting energy to be together. One that's so quickly, so fast moving and an energy that's a hang back. It's like, you know, get moving, no, stay stay where you are. So it's, it's really interesting. You'll have to leave me a comment in the comment section below if this resonated for you and how so. Because that is really, really... Uh, interesting it's it could be an offer though that is just something you really need to think about you know you need to look at it from a different perspective or it could be somebody quicksilver sometimes the knight of wands is someone who's passing through really quickly and just tells you hey i'm gonna be there you know tomorrow morning um meet me for coffee and <laughs> be there or be square and you're just like whoa i don't know if i want to uh, if i want to do that i'm just like not up for moving that quickly right now <laughs> And in week two, we have the beautiful Nine of Cups. This is your wish card. Look at this, Sag. You have, or sorry, Aquarius, you have both. You have the wish card and you have, sorry, you have the, the minor arcana wish card and the major arcana wish card. Look at that. Look at that, Aquarius. Beautiful. Oh, definitely a, a, a prize wish or a wish fulfillment could be coming your way this month. Beautiful. We've got a wish fulfillment here with the Five of Swords rooting it down in reverse, which is good. The Five of Swords uh, in reverse. This is all about healing from a situation that was quite dreadful. It could have been, uh, you know, uh, uh, an argument, a fight that you had with somebody else. Or it could have been when you're of two minds of a situation. Sometimes the Five of Swords can be inner conflict, coming out of inner conflict. Because now you, you've got your wish fulfillment here with the Nine of Cups. Something is happening in week two that is something you wanted to happen. Now, it could be that you wanted this offer to come through and it comes through. 
or it could be that you wanted the offer to come through faster and you know in the beginning like the first week it's like no you got to hang back but in the second week it moves forward so whatever the situation is going to be different for all of you because it's just a general read but the five of swords being in reverse indicates you're coming out of two minds about something so maybe it makes sense you're struggling with something in the first two weeks of the month maybe there's an offer there eh, i don't know if i want to take it i don't know if i want to go down that road i'm sort of hanging back but then you could be conflicted internally conflicted about it and then you come out of that internal conflict so it could be that something new come maybe you hang back you don't like that offer so you hang back and a new offer comes in and that was your wish fulfillment you're glad you did uh, or it could be that you hang back sort of contemplating it but then you realize no it's it's what i want it's it was my wish fulfillment now moving on into week three we have the four of swords here in reverse this is good again healing from a situation that took us off guard so and it's with the six of cups in the upright position so for some of you this was a past situation maybe you're healing from a relationship that you know like a past relationship you're finally healing from it uh for some of you uh this could be a, a return of someone from the past the six of cups could be even meeting someone who feels like someone from the past so this could be a, a healing from the pa a past situation for some of you um and others of you this is like the four of swords is a return to action right because we're, we're done healing it's good to have this in week three because you're kind of stagnant in week one so this is about movement forward in week three so it looks like there's going to be a slow but steady turnaround in terms of taking action on something uh, and it could have something to do with the past with the Six of Cups here. Six of Cups is the bat blast from the past card, or it could be that you're returning to, you know, a career you used to do or a job you used to do or uh, work at a place where you once worked at. That could be a past return. Uh, it could be a relationship that you, you know, you, like I said, could be healing from a past relationship. But this could also be the return of someone from the past and it, you know, helps bring you back into action again so that's week three week four we have the uh three of pentacles rooted down with the queen of pentacles here well the queen of pentacles is another court card could be representing a person but this time it's earth energy that of uh taurus virgo capricorn sun moon arising male or female some of you could be involved with uh queen of pentacles and could be working alongside this person maybe if this was someone a job from the past or someone from the past maybe this queen of pentacles is someone you used to work with or it could be somebody you used to date if it's on the dating front and perhaps now you're getting along beautifully if this is the case because the three of pentacles is working in harmony very well with other people when we're working on a project or working on anything from the home to uh some of you could be having a, a really uh you know enjoyable experience working together with the queen of pentacles this queen of pentacles could be your family member could be your your daughter your child your your sister your parent what have you and this is you working in harmony with them for others of you this could be you embodying the energies of the queen of pentacles and trying to get remain rooted and you know and and stay focused <laughs> on the practical and the tangible things in life Maybe you're trying not to get carried away because, you know, you have work to do. But the thing is, is that it's beautiful energy because Three of Pentacles is about working in harmony with others where everybody's taking their fair share of the the project or whatever it is you're working on. So you're working, they, they appreciate your work, you appreciate their work, and everybody's happy. It's all one big happy family. <laughs> And it could be that you're working towards a very stable future in terms of career, job, or family, or whatever the situation is, or relationship. So it could be that that's what you're doing here. And uh, But its overall energy is beautiful because the star is here in the upright position, which is your card. It's you all the way feeling optimistic, feeling happy, and... Um, I love to see that for you. So I can't wait to uh, hear what you have to say in the comment sections below. Have a great month of October, Aquarius. Much love. Namaste. And if this reading helped you, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye for now.